hello friends welcome to escort education in this video we will discuss class 6th science lesson fiber to fabric we will cover what are fabric yarns strands and fibers two types of fibers natural fibers and synthetic fibers then two types of natural fibers and some details about cotton and jute then some processes used in manufacturing of fabric first of all what is fabric fabric is cloth that we use to make or stitch our dress for bed sheets or for curtains if we look closely it appears like this here we can see that it is made up of yarns arranged together and if we see a single yarn we see hair like structures on it these are strands of yarn so we can say that each yarn is made from strands also a single strand is made up of still thinner strands that are called fibers means fiber combines together to make strands strands combine together to make yarns and yarns are arranged to make fabric or we can say that a fabric is made up from yarns and yarns are made up from strands and strands are made up of fibers fibers are of two types natural fibers and synthetic fibers those fibers that are obtained from either from plants or from animals are called natural fibers for example cotton jute silk and wool are natural fibers synthetic fibers are those fibers that are made from chemical substances for example polyester nylon and acrylic these are synthetic fibers out of these two types of fibers natural fibers are further divided into two parts first plant fibers the natural fibers that are obtained from plants are called plant fibers cotton and jute are obtained from plants so these are plant fibers animal fibers those natural fibers that are obtained from animals are called animal fibers examples are silk and wool silk is obtained from silk worm and wool is obtained from sheep or camel as these are obtained from animals so these are called animal fibers now we will discuss some more detail about plant fibers first is cotton cotton plants are usually grown at those places that have black soil and warm climate when fruits of cotton plants are mature then they burst open and cotton fibers are seen with seeds of cotton covered in them second is jute jute plant is cultivated during rainy season and jute fiber is obtained from the stem of jute plant when plant is at flowering stage it is cut down and its stems are immersed in water for few days then loosened fibers are separated from the stem by hands and then they are used to make fabric now we will discuss some important processes used to make fabric first is ginning it is related to cotton as we have discussed that cotton fibers cover seeds of cotton in them to make use of cotton fiber we need to separate out the seeds from the fiber 
this process of separating cotton fibers from the seeds of cotton is called ginning in earlier times ginning was done by hand now ginning machines are used for it second process is spinning this is the process of converting the fiber in yarn in this process one end of fiber is hold and other is spinned or rotated by using any of the tool by doing so fiber is converted in yarn the spinning is either done by spindle or charkha on large scale spinning is done by spinning machines next process is weaving this is a process for converting yarn to fabric in this process two sets of yarns are taken and they are arranged together like it to make a piece of fabric this process means weaving is done on looms these looms can be hand operated looms or power operated looms and one more process is knitting it is also the process for converting yarn to fabric in this process a single yarn is used to make a piece of fabric the fabric of your sweater or socks is manufactured by this process knitting is done by hands or by machines let us now recap what we have discussed in this chapter we have discussed what are fabric yarn strands and fibers two types of fibers means natural fibers and synthetic fibers then two types of natural fibers plant fibers and animal fibers then a little detail about cotton and jute then some important processes used in manufacturing of fabric means ginning spinning weaving and knitting hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching